lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before we get into your reading, Aries, I want to wish every single one of you guys out there a happy Hallow's Eve. And let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of for the end of October, beginning of November. Now, your first card here, Aries, is the Seven of Swords. Your second card here is the Seven of Cups. Wow, two sevens. Your third card is the Strength card. And your fourth card is the Two of Cups. Okay, Aries, for the month, the ending of October, beginning of November, you're starting off uh, the month with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords represents sneakiness, uh, not being completely honest, or feeling like people have uh, very double intentions towards you, uh, like they're not being completely honest with you. You also have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups definitely does talk about scattered energy. And I feel that with the Seven of Swords here and the Seven of Cups, it's almost like you guys have been dealing with a Leo. For others of you guys, you may be dealing with another fire sign, which would be a Sagittarius. I also see water, so it would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio type of energy. And I feel like you know that you've been wasting your time on a person on a person that perhaps you've grown to have feelings for, but you're not really wanting to accept that. Nonetheless, the Seven of Cups does talk about uh, scattered energy, and I feel that this is you giving yourself or putting energy to different types of people, not just one, and knowing that it's okay to want to deal with multiple people temporarily, but when it comes to the long term, when it comes to something that is going to be long lasting, it's kind of like you're burnt out or you're just tired of unfulfilled or superficial type of connections and you're wanting some dampness into the connection or into connections with the people that you're dealing with. Now you do have the strength card here and the strength card talks about having the courage, having the strength to bring down your walls and to allow people to connect with you on a deeper level. What is it that's holding you back from connecting with people? Is it the fear of getting hurt? Or is it the fear of putting effort into a relationship that you may later on find out that you're not interested in? So for some of you guys, it could be that you lose interest very quickly. And there is a fear that if you actually commit yourself to someone, you will quickly become bored and not want to be in that relationship. But what Spirit is telling you is, Aries, it's time for you to grow up. It's time for you to mature. If you're wanting um, Fay weather type of connections, if you're looking for something casual, then it's okay. Nonetheless, how long, how many years need to pass for you to keep telling yourself it's okay? So what I mean by that is, it was okay two years ago. It was okay three years ago. It's not okay anymore because you've matured, you've learned, you're starting to feel or you fell for someone that was temporarily or that was something that was very fey weather. You actually had feelings for this person and this person discarded you the way you've discarded other people in the past. Now with the strength card, you've learned your lesson, you have the courage and you've overcame that but now you're wanting connection. Now you're wanting to connect with someone. Now you're wanting emotions. Now you're wanting the depthness of relationships, and that's okay. But you cannot expect the same in return from people that were okay with sexual encounters or that were okay with casual dating. Why? Because they still want whatever it is that they were feeling versus Sorry, it cut out. <laughs> so again, if you're wanting something long-term and you're wanting to connect with other people on a, deep, on a deeper level, Aries, 
start spreading your net wide. Don't go back to the people that were casual and expect them to want or desire the same thing you're wanting because not everyone learns in the same time, okay? Now, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that there's been a lot of difficulties and for some of you guys, there may be um, a separation or a breakup that recently happened. Nonetheless, the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups will definitely show up for you guys in November and I feel that this has a lot to do with, you know, Perhaps at some point you felt like you were better off without your partner. But you're going to quickly find out that this person or the person that you were dealing with or your ex-partner, uh, whom you're taking some time away from, um, is going to be dealing with different types of energies. And that's almost going to bring out the beast in you, bring out the no, she's mine, or no, he's mine, it's not fair, da-da-da-da-da. But what the cards are telling you here is with the strength card, you suppressed those feelings. Whether it was because there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, whether it was because your partner in fact was talking to other people with keeping that behind your back, it's almost like some type of anger is gonna come out, but with that anger, truths are gonna be revealed and truths are gonna be coming out in the open. So, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term relationship or in a committed relationship that recently there was a breakup, there's going to be revelations coming out in November where everything's going to start to make sense, even things that perhaps you felt like your partner was doing but you weren't sure. All of that's going to be playing out in November. And with the strength card, you will have the strength to walk away from this. You will have the strength to retain yourself even from that anger and that frustration and walk away from this and when you walk away from this you will be able and i know that sometimes people don't want to hear this um but walking away from this is going to be the best thing for you because then you will be able to receive the type of love that you deserve aries so i hope this you know gives you some type of clarity i know it seemed like it was all over the place but it was different messages take the messages for what they are. I wish you guys the very best and we will speak to each other soon. Okay. Bye.